Here's how to do B2B email marketing correctly so that you will have booked appointments every single day. Back when I ran the agency X27 full time before we hired a team and outsourced it so that they take care of everything, when I was the founder, my goal back then was to have a calendar that was back to back to back with sales meetings. The reason you want to be booked back to back is because if you have that many meetings, even if you're a terrible salesman, you're gonna be making enough sales to sustain the business. Now, if you're a great salesman or even a good salesman, you're gonna make even more sales than that and then you'll be able to thrive. So the bottom line is, if you book yourself solid, you will succeed. So now that we know that, how do we get to that point? How did I get booked solid and how can you do the same? Let's jump into it. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Learn how to book meetings with billion dollar brands and take your company to the next level at email10k.com. The first thing you wanna do is send 100 cold emails per day without fail. Now, if you know anything about my story, you know that cold email was what took us over the top in the agency. Within the first 30 days of sending cold emails, we were able to book $400,000 in business. We actually have a video of me sending cold emails and making $10,000 on the spot. So cold email is what I love. And the problem with most people that try it is they'll dip their toe in the water of cold email. They might send two emails and then never send another cold email again. Or even worse, they'll send 100 cold emails one week, book enough business to set themselves up for three months, and then wonder in three months why their company's failing. So what I like to do consistently is send at least 100 cold emails a day. That'll give you enough data so that you can test moving forward. And also on top of this, follow the process. I'll link down below to our checklist. Make sure to follow this process for improving your emails as well, because what you wanna do is send 100, look at the open rates. If the open rates are too low, change the subject line. If the open rates are fine, change the body of the email. Basically, you never wanna send the same email two times on a test. So on Monday, if you're testing subject lines, then on Tuesday, you should test a different subject line to see if that changes the open rate. And if you're testing one body on Monday and the same body on Tuesday with a different subject line, as soon as you get the open rate to a certain spot, you should test a different body on Wednesday, etc. You always wanna be testing, always wanna be improving, and more importantly, you consistently wanna be sending. I would rather you send 100 emails a day and not change a thing on these tests then send nothing. Action is better than inaction. But in an ideal world, you're changing and testing every single time because what you want is the ultimate cold email. And you can start with some of our frameworks. We actually have a couple videos on the ultimate cold email framework that you can check out. But ideally, you want a rock solid cold email that works for your business and that generates meetings. And the way to do that is by sending 100 cold emails a day, testing and changing every time. And if you want more detail on the exact process we use, check out Email 10K, it goes over it exactly. The second thing to keep in mind is when you're sending these emails, pitch for an appointment. Do not pitch your product and go for a direct sale. We've done both and what works consistently for us is trying to get them on the phone as soon as possible. You can qualify them on the phone. And really, if you're doing your lead gen right, you should not have to worry about time wasters. If you are following our advice and you're only reaching out to golden geese companies that have between $5 million and $150 million in revenue and you're only emailing the decision makers at those companies, then you shouldn't have to deal with long questionnaires or anything because you know that everybody on that list is already qualified. So if they respond, you should have no problem hopping on a call with them and doing your full sales pitch. The third thing is follow up after the appointment is booked. I like to send an email like this the day of the appointment. I'll say, hey Mark, look forward to our call today at 1.30 p.m. EST, that's it. And what happens is if you send that the day of or even an hour before, it's enough of a reminder to get them not to skip the call. I found that sending a reminder like this will reduce your no-show rates considerably, which means if you're sending out emails, typically what'll happen is you'll get, let's say you get eight meetings and two people will show up. If you start doing this, you'll get almost all eight of them to show up. The other thing is once the meeting is on the calendar, it's the set time, if they do not show up immediately, stay in that room at least five minutes, if not 15 minutes. You can watch YouTube or whatever while you're waiting for them, but give them some time to show up. I'll also send an email and call them on the appointment time. So if it's a Zoom call, I'll add them to Zoom and have Zoom call them to try to add them. If it's just a normal phone call, I'll add them. And if they're not there, I'll send a quick voicemail. I'll say something like, hey, it's Alex Berman from Experiment 27. We have an appointment booked right now. Look forward to seeing you on the call. The number is, and put the number in there, 
And then I also say, I know you get busy, so I'm gonna try calling back in about five minutes if that works better for you. And then I will actually call back in five minutes as well. So if you chase them down a little bit, you will drop your no-show rate considerably. You will get your no-show rate to a good spot. So that's the whole process. That's how to get them on the phone. That's how to make sure they show up for the meeting. Now, what do you do after the meeting? Typically the first call, and we actually have an outline for what the first call should look like. It's called the discovery call. It's mostly you asking questions about their business. And I try to treat them like a consult. Like I'm sitting there diagnosing their issues like a doctor. So I need to know all their symptoms. I need to know all the questions I need to ask in order to put a real proposal together. At the end of that call, at the end of that call, I typically price check them to make sure that they can afford us. So I'll say, all right, great. Let me put a proposal together, but first I just wanted to let you know that our pricing is between four to $8,000 for this outreach service. Is this something that you're interested in? And then if they say yes, now you know they're already price checked, so you're good to go. The deal is yours to lose at this point. They've agreed on the pricing and you've already done a discovery call. The deal is yours to lose. So then I'll say something like, all right, let me put all this together. I can send it to you in bullet points, unless you're ready to go right now. Do you wanna sign up right now? And sometimes they'll say yes. That is an example of just throw that closing question out there, see what happens. And if they say, no, they need more information, then I will say, all right, let me put a proposal together. How are you to go over that Thursday at 2 p.m.? Let's say it's Monday. I'll try to do it a couple days later. Keep that momentum going. If they want to buy, they want to buy right now. They don't want to buy in three months or six months. So you want to have the sales calls as close to each other as possible. Even same day, let's meet Monday morning and I'll send you a proposal and we can review the proposal Monday at 5 p.m. and then we'll go. That's the type of urgency you want with your clients. You want them to sign and they will sign four to $8,000 deals. As long as they have the budget when they're talking to you, they will be able to make that decision and waiting three, four days will just slow everybody down. So that's how to get your calendar booked every day. If you want this in excruciating detail, every single step of the way, including examples of us doing this with real clients, check out email10k.com. Everything is in there step by step by step, our entire system for how to book your calendar solid with B2B appointments every single day. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. So you don't have a business idea, huh? Do you wanna know what the best business to start is regardless of market conditions? Check out the free presentation at email10k.com. We have over 200 students that are crushing it using this business strategy, even during this time. So check that out, email10k.com. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Smash that like button to encourage this type of content. Leave a comment down below. Do you have any questions on how to book your calendar solid? Let's talk about it. And thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.